image model, a standard image model on Teachable Machine, right? And in today's session, we will be starting off with audio project. Let's see how to create an audio project, right? So it is almost similar, but there are a few changes uh, in this. Let's discuss about those and uh, let's start creating one uh, project today, okay? So audio project, like the name itself suggests, this only has the audio, right? We just have to record the sounds, different sounds, and you can train the model with those sounds, right? After which you can uh, also play the sound and check if it is uh, predicting that sound or classifying that sound correctly or no, okay? So let's quickly um, just first uh, record the background noise, right? So usually, um, in audio projects, we have background noise and that's a default class, okay? So you can just click on mic and you can uh, record some 20 seconds uh, duration of sound like that, right? So you can record it. You need not speak anything while it is getting recorded. Uh, so let it just capture the background noise, right? So whatever the noise um, it is able to capture, it can capture for 20 seconds and that will be divided into some samples, right? And it will automatically consider those samples. You need not manually do anything for this, right? So this is the default class, after which you can add any number of classes like we do in the image models, right? So let's quickly uh, click on mic here. So we have to allow the microphone, only then it will be able to get the access for it, right? So when it gets the access, so here you can see record 20 seconds, right? While it is recording, I will not say anything, okay? But yeah, I will let it capture the background noise, whatever is it is able to capture, okay? So let me just click on record 20 seconds. So uh, I was just doing small sounds <laughs> in the meanwhile, but yeah, it just recorded uh, 20 seconds, right? Now you just have to click on extract sample after recording, right? So you just click on extract sample. It just uh, extracted 20 audio samples for, from the background noise, whatever it was recording, okay? So if you wanna hear that, you can actually click on play and you can hear the sound, okay? So like whatever it is, uh, it was recording, it was recording here and now you have this samples also, okay? So minimum you have to give 20 samples, right? Maximum is all up to you. You can give more samples. More, uh, the more samples are, the, the good your model will become, right? And the prediction also will be very good and accurate, okay? So you can consider giving more number of samples also, right? Now let's say um, I want to give the class as clapping, okay? So I will record the sound of clapping, okay? So that's why I'm just giving the class name as clap, right? So I'll just again click on mic. So you have to only record two seconds, okay? So after recording two seconds, you can just add the samples. Minimum eight samples we need to have for this, okay? And maximum it can be like I told, so the more number of samples are there, so the more uh, accurate your model will become, okay? So let's quickly clap. Okay, so uh, we can hear it here. Okay, so if you want, you can record it again. Right. So let's click on extract sample. So you can see when I extract sample, it only extracts two samples, right? We, ex, uh, we need eight, minimum eight samples, right? So you can either record again, okay? Or you can just click on extract, extract, extract. So you got eight audio samples, right? You can give more also, no problem. Like just click on it, you will get more. Or record it. 
and then click on extract okay likewise you can add more okay so this is about clap let's now um, i think i'll give a taps uh, tapping thing so tap let's add a class uh, i think uh, i'll give snap okay so finger snapping so let's click on mic okay let me just uh, hear it once yeah it it recorded the thing so i think uh, we can just i uh, extract samples so eight are already there i can just do it one more time so extract yeah i think uh, more than enough for now because i only have two classes right so clap and snap <laughs> let's see uh, how exactly our model will be trained so we just have to wait for it to do the thing so it's just preparing the training data now so you have 20 samples here 16 samples here 16 samples over here so all these samples yes it's just um, training the thing very quickly because we have very less number of samples right so wow in a record time you can see it is uh, input on and it is able to recognize what exactly uh, I am doing, right? Wow, it's, it's very much accurate, right? So it detects clap very easily. It has 100%. When I snap also, it is able to get it. Wow, very nice. So it is actually having a very good accuracy. It is able to recognize uh, background noise also. So when I speak, it is uh, it is actually going to background noise, right? And clapping and snapping, um, if I'm not speaking, then they are uh, very well predicted. Let me just show you one more time. perfect right so it has a very good accuracy i can say yeah so this is all about the audio model yes so like in the other session we have discussed you can actually click on export model right you can upload it to cloud and you can use this in any project you want you want to create right in any web page or app you can absolutely use the link the cloud link which is provided with this right when you upload it to cloud okay not only that if you um you you're getting tensorflow tensor uh, python code javascript code all codes you're getting right you can use them definitely wherever you would like to so you can use them okay so this is all about the audio model in teachable machine you could see how easy it was for us to add the samples not only adding the samples uh, training the model it was very much quick very quick um, in I think in record time, that means it, in 25 seconds, it could do, it could train the model. And we also got a very good accuracy with just 16 samples only, right? So this is, this is amazing, amazingly perfect, right? So yeah, this is all about our uh, today's session, right? I hope now you know how to create audio models, right? So you can create uh, any number of classes you can have and you can classify it into any number of categories you would like to, right? So we have categorized the sound into clap and snap today. Uh, it's all up to you now uh, how, how many voices or noises you can create or you can record or you can take uh, some Google voice recordings also. You can just play those sounds and you can uh, use those, right? Or you can record by yourself you can you manually can um, say something and uh, you can record and create audio models so it's all up to you now because this tool is all all free and it's available for you to use directly right 
So yeah, make use of it and create uh, audio models and do let me know what kind of audio model you have created and how did you feel about this class, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you really like it and if you want kids to learn coding with me, so you can do let uh, do share this vid these videos with others and please do like comment share and subscribe to my channel folks hub i will be having more and more content related to coding getting you um, very accurate and precise content okay so thank you so much for watching this video guys bye bye and have a great day all